Oh, hello. It's, uh, it's Thursday, but kind of Friday, sort of, because it's a holiday weekend and I don't have to work tomorrow. Anyway, here we are. You're here with me on Live Painting and Chill with Precious Juggalos, hosted by me, Shovel, other hand. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that looks weird. Oh, ethereal. Anyway, uh, my name's Shovel. It's Thursday afternoon. It is time to, uh, yet again, go live here on Facebook and, or YouTube. This is YouTube. Live on YouTube. And, uh, live stream while I paint some juggalo faces on some ceramic figurines. Join me, won't you? First and foremost, gotta prepare for the day, so we're gonna be drinking... Another Fago cotton candy because I have a ton of it in my fridge and it's going to take me forever to drink it all. But I'm gonna. This is the fuel that keeps me painting. So here we go. Let me switch over. Let you watch as I pour. Ciao. Maya is in the house. Hello, Maya. Welcome to Thursday. Whoop whoop. Here we go. First sip. And JR too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. No cringe today. That's good. That's good. No cringe. Getting a stack of cans. Burying myself in Fago trash. Ah. JR is driving, but he's here. And that's what matters. Alright, switching over. Let's get painting. Of course, if you tuned in yesterday, you saw me finish that ongoing project of the small uh, Juggalo Cherubs, the two faces. So today, we're starting a new one. <laughs> uh, so, we're going in the uh, Precious Moments pile. And here we go. The one I grabbed at random just before I hit the live button. Let's see how it looks. This, of course, smells like the house of an elderly person. that have been potentially stored these things in a very musty basement for quite some time. In other words, they don't smell great. And this is what we're working with. It appears to be, well, first off, made in Thailand. That little sticker poked me in the finger. Yeah, not mothballs. It smells like they should have used mothballs. Like, it, it just smells musty. Like, I don't know, like, like their basement had some, some water issues. Which mine does, but it doesn't smell like this. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it doesn't smell good. Heck, let me pack up this stuff, because that's where the bulk of the stink is. Get that off. Oh, and that's our first, that's what she said, of the day. Bop, 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 bop. All right. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's a... Uh, called You're the Sweetest Cookie in the Batch. Aww. So it's a little uh, little lady with a plate full of cookies, little heart-shaped cookies. In fact, those aren't little. Those are huge cookies. Oh. And she's got the uh, Precious Moments logo on her pocket there. Yeah. Oh, we're going to wreck it all right. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't like that that's on that pocket. I don't like it at all. I was hoping to actually start working on the uh, the replacement Juggalo Cherub. Uh, I got it, got it all base coated with some white, all primered and ready to go, and looking really good. And then I, I went to bring it down here, and I realized I never, I never shot it from like below. Um, so yeah, it it, it didn't have a good coat over everything. So, uh, so I had to, I had to spray it with a little bit more paint. Uh, I had just enough in the can to, uh, to finish. 
And uh, so it's drying out on the porch, and I guess we'll have to save that for tomorrow. Oh. But uh, but yeah, let's let's get after it here today. With uh, with this little little lady, this little soon-to-be juggalette with the giant bow on top of her head. I posted that picture of the uh, um, the juggalo cherubs that I finished yesterday on Facebook, and uh, it's been getting a lot of attention and a lot of comments and a lot of shares and everything which is cool but i also try to like stay engaged with all that stuff it's exhausting man hey he watched kill tony right that's what i'm saying like he didn't do great as a comedian as a stand-up comedian but a he did not know what he was walking into he thought he was going to be part of the panel so he didn't know he was actually stepping up to a to a hot mic for a stand-up gig um and b um he's not a comedian so with all that considered uh i think he did just fine um and like you said he he did do better than some of the quote-unquote comedians sorry there was a weird sound in the basement for a second there something mechanical See, yeah, I'm telling you, if you if you love comedy, um, and really want to like get into the minutia of how comedy works, Kill Tony is a great place, a great resource. I mean, it's funny anyway. It, it's it's funny to 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 see, um, because they get some real oddballs up on that stage, um, but it also you can really get a sense of how comedy works and why uh and why not sometimes too there's quite a bit of terrible comedy on there but i digress yeah anyway highly recommend kill tony in fact i was watching an episode today at work um and it was the first appearance of a guy that goes by the name ichabod and it was uh, interesting. He's definitely a character. Some weirdo from Las Vegas. I feel like I missed a step starting out on this, but, uh, I think I did. Another thing I thought of today was, like I said, I wanted to start on that, the bigger Juggalo Cherub, um, to replace the one that UPS broke, but that's after I had rearranged the camera, which meant I had to rearrange the microphone, um, to get it tighter, and then I'm talking about doing a much bigger piece, which means I need to go the opposite direction, which... All that takes like 30 minutes. Um, seems silly, but uh, that's what I do to try to make things look nice. But honestly, if I left it like this and I was working on something of that size, A, it would be out of focus all the time because it's so big, I would be rotating it and it'd be up here and down here and it just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work out for y'all. But, tomorrow's a holiday. I'll have plenty of time to get myself situated and set up, and I might even run long and just stay live until I finish that thing, because I want to get it done, because my god, I need to send it to that poor customer in Baltimore, I think it was, and replace what was broken. She's been exceedingly patient with me. And I think at this point I'm kind of pushing my luck with her, and I need to need to get a little bit more serious.
I also caught Wiggles live last night. It was nice to see him back online. Even though he still does the crazy late starts, <laughs> it's it's hard, hard to watch his his live streams. Yours are kind of right in the pocket, Jr. Like, if I'm not playing my video game, well, even if I am, I can still turn it on. I just can't pay attention, but I can give you a watch. <laughs> I become one of your creeps and listeners. Except I'm not actually listening, because I just have to listen to my game. But I'm creeping. Creeping strong. So yeah, so I posted that thing on, uh, on Facebook. The Juggalo Cherub thing, the miniature one. Uh, I've got almost 600 Facebook followers now. Isn't that wild? I had like, um, I don't know, 30 like a month ago. It's crazy. 30 and most of them were like family and people I graduated high school with. Bizarre. It's cool, like every time I pick up my phone, there's like, you know, notifications of people interacting with it. Which is cool. Except not every single time I pick up my phone do I want to engage with that. Like, you know. Sometimes I'm at work and I should probably do it, be doing work stuff. But I also know you have to kind of ride the wave, like... It's getting attention now. It won't seven days from now. That's the fun part. You don't have to, she says. Yeah. I don't have to. But if I ever want to sell anything, I, sh I probably should engage. Really, I feel like at this phase, it's just a, like, uh, building the audience phase. At some point, it's going to have to turn into, uh, more of like a salesman phase of, okay, now you're here, now buy stuff. Please... Or else, yeah. <laughs> All right, and just like that, we've got two coats of white down already. Boom. Crushing it. One comment that kind of keeps coming up on the, uh, on the little juggalo cherubs, be smarter, uh, is people keep bringing up that I could have put something in their hands, but because they're like doing this number in front of their two faces. Yeah, totally missed opportunity. I was not, not really paying attention to that. Um, I was so like, keyed in on just getting their faces painted, I forgot, oh yeah, I, I could, I could do something there. And it's, I mean, it's just set up perfect. But then it becomes, what is the perfect element to put in that space? Because after I spent all that time painting their faces, I don't want to cover them up with a proportionate two liter Fago bot. Because, uh, so then you won't see all that work I did. Um, and it also kind of makes it, uh, yeah, he says Fago too. 
My the problem with that is though, and I, I kind of this this is where I fall in the grand scheme of my stuff is I kind of like that it's low key, and I feel like putting that bottle of Fago there, it's would be a very colorful, dynamic element in an otherwise um, muted palette. Um, so I feel like it would kind of be robbing from the, uh, the simplicity of the piece. Or I'm just lazy. One or the other. Either way, Fago break. Cotton candy time. Delicious. If you're just joining us, I'm burping, but I'm also just started a new piece today. A little column A, a little column B. Yeah, I know. There is a happy medium, and I, I've, I've got to find it. Um, but yeah, if you're just joining us, uh, we just started this new piece today. It's Daffy is the, the new one. What is up, my friend? How are you, man? Whoop whoop to Daffy. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Man. Uh. Rewatching the stream from, from uh, yesterday, and I didn't realize how much I coughed and cleared my throat. It's kind of distracting. I kind of wish I could stop. So, thanks a lot, allergies. Um, let's see. Let me clean up this eye real fast. Got a little, little paint in there. Daffy, you're not doing anything crazy today, like, uh, putting up gutters or, uh, I don't know, rebuilding an engine block or something? Are, are you taking it easy today? Or you're at work, probably? You're on the treadmill. Of course he's doing something. Can't just simply idly watch the nonsense that I do. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we have done two coats of white on this fresh piece. Uh, I think it's time for the watered down layer of white that I like to do because I like to have an even coat with limited brush strokes, and this is the best way I've found to do it. So if you're looking to copy my style, here's one of my secrets. But don't do what I just did. I just completely overloaded my brush like an idiot. There's probably enough here to paint the entire face. That is a, a common comment or occurrence on these things when I post them on Facebook is people will tag other people and say, we've got to do this, we've got to do this. And I'm left sitting there looking at the comment on my piece thinking, no, you don't. I did. Just, just buy mine. <laughs> Every time I have that thought. But then I also have to think, yeah, but I saw somebody else doing something and had that thought that caused me to do this. So, eh, you know. And I guess when it gets down to it, it's kind of flattering to inspire other people, I guess. Hurry up and bye. <laughs> I know that reference. Hurry up and bye. Probably shouldn't say that out loud. But I'm quoting a movie. So... The naysayers can stick that in their pipe. I'm just quoting a movie. Anyway, while I'm doing all this, I keep getting little, little brushes of white into this poor girl's eyeballs. She's got to be suffering something awful. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Not arguing that at all. 
there's definitely times like ask JR about that time that I messaged him about that one girl that straight up hijacked one of my postings and in the comments was like I'm I'm doing these too and you can buy them for me and I'll be at the gathering and I have 200 pieces blah diarrhea of all this information it's like whoa 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 lady whoa whoa this is my thing I posted this post your own bruh <laughs> Maya's gonna go get her. Ask JR, it's still in his, uh... His DMs. Pretty sure I sent him the receipts. <laughs> Alright. If you're just tuning in... I believe we are done with the white element of this paint. I think we very much may get this completed all in one episode <gasps> the thing i always want um but i say that now i'll probably screw it up somehow or other as i've been known to do they either get distracted by something or obnoxiously focused on something in insignificant like right now, I'm going to fuss over these eyeballs. But when it comes down to it, this is what separates me from the pack. Because I do take care of this stuff. Some people just go, eh, move on. All right, I think the white is done. Whoop, no, it's not. I got a little more up in the hair right here. Or was that a, nope, it is right there. Dampen that a little bit. Wipe it off. That's better. Oh, and right there, too. Man, oh, man. We got a little sloppy today. There it goes. And done. Nope, no, it's not. Just kidding. JK. Okay, there we go. White paint, I believe, is done. So now we switch to black. Moving right along. Actually, perfect Fago brick. Mmm. Cotton candy. Ooh. Getting dirty. Alright, little dab of black. And pick our brushes wisely. Hmm. Hmm. Tune that up a little bit. Nice and sharp. Like it. Love it. Alright. I got black on my finger. That's no good. I don't want to rub that on anything. There we go. Alright. Good to go. Hmm. She's got a whole lot of bangs. just brushed right onto my finger. Um, this brush was, well, actually, I bought a bag of these fancy brushes, um, at, uh, 
what's the name of that place? Um, it's one of those like fall off the truck, um, discount places. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I bought a bag of them. Somebody had mispriced it. There were like, it was like a bag of 30 and they priced it at the price of one brush. So I was like, yoink. Um, so I have a lot of these and my wife has actually sold some of them online in her shop, which helped supplement more brushes. And then otherwise I've bought like, there's quite a few of these that I bought as a set. There's more of them. This is just what's handy. Uh, these little Nick Pro brushes. They're pretty good. Um, I bought a bunch of these as a set as well. There's more of them, but these are just what are handy. And then a long time ago, when I first got started, brought bought a set of these Mama Jamas. Artist Loft. It's like... I don't know, the uh, Michael's brand or whatever it is. Um, and they're okay. Uh, they were good for my first set of brushes. It was a good uh, assortment of brushes. So yeah, I've I've bought a lot of different sets because they're usually cheaper when you buy them as sets. Um, but then when it comes to this fancy brush, I am glad that I lucked into that buy because they are really nice brushes. do the job really well but otherwise um, for the other brushes that I bought sets of I think that first set like I said was from a like Michaels or whatever and then the other other couple of sets I've bought since then I think I just got off Amazon And ultimately, it was budget that drove the decision. I mean, I would read the reviews and make sure they didn't suck. But uh, but I also was just looking for cheap, but decent. Because you can definitely spend a lot of money on brushes. And one of these days, I'd like to have an actual, like, sable brush just to see what it paints like, because... Apparently they're real good, but the price tag is pretty high. Hmm. Good question, though. I think I have a set of brushes in my uh, Amazon wish list. That, uh, you know, it's affordable, but it's, it's a little more than I want to spend. So it's just kind of sitting in the wish list. Hoping that, you know, some birthday or Christmas, somebody will hook me up. But I think I'm doing fine with what I've got, too. All right. We are trucking on this little piece. Realize the focus probably isn't great for y'all. I mean, you can kind of see what I'm doing, right? Hey, Wiggles is in. Yeah, I've thought about, like, uh, I need to, like, just, uh, whoop whoop wiggles. I need to, like, uh, make a, a list of the stuff I use. Because I've, I've definitely seen that 
and um, just like have it where I can copy paste it into the description of my videos. One of these days, one of these days I'll be a real YouTuber. Until that day, I will keep faking it till I make it. Wiggles, I'm glad, glad you had your doctor's visit today. I'm glad that you got some answers, and I'll just leave it at that. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. There we go. Yeah, and that, that's what I'm saying. Like, the mystery can be, you know, the worst part about not feeling good. Because sometimes your mind can just, like, wander to the worst possibilities. At my age, anytime I feel anything that feels not good, there's always the back of my mind that's like, is it cancer? And I hate thinking that. Man, I just nicked her nose. Dang it. Hmm. Okay, let me... I think there's a flap of paint right here. Yep, that was the problem. Looks like I overloaded the nose. Oh, well, there's a big blob that wants to remove itself. Oh, interesting. Um, let me get the tweezers. Good grief. I was having my own version of the uh, Weezer Undone the Sweater song on this nose here. The more I grab, the more comes off. Just obliterated that nose. Um, okay. All right, um, I don't know if I should totally, no, I won't. That's me talking to myself out loud, classic shovel. Man, it just keeps peeling.
Okay, there. Now I think it's all cleaned up. All right. That was weird. I've never seen it do that before. It's like the paint refused to attach itself. No, Wiggles, it's not. No, I'm I'm not saying that your situation is anything related to cancer. I'm just saying every time I feel bad, I, I let my mind go bad directions and I'm part of me is always like, oh, what if I have cancer? What if I have diabetes or something crazy where it's like, no, man, you don't have that stuff. OK, good. Yeah, I'm. All right, shut up and paint. Okay. All right. She is coming along. She looks like a, uh, looks like a little Disney character, like, uh, the Rescuers or something. Oh. Man, chat's getting dark. Chat is getting dark. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Wiggles, I'm glad you're here. Let's start over. <laughs> yeah. I'm painting, boss. I'm painting. Oh, yeah, you'll get there, dude. You will definitely get there. Oh yeah? There you go, JR. That's what I'm talking about. Good Friday. Good things happen on Good Friday. Okay. I think I definitely chose the wrong brush for that situation. Too much paint. Bruh. There we go. Try to 
follow that same line. Like it's getting hand delivered? Ah, oh, this plate of cookies is in my way. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So it's not the 12 minutes, it's the, like, minute of JR. Bagel break, everyone. <laughs> Just thought about that. The JR minute. That's what she said. Am I right, Maya? <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> I, I've never been on Prilosec. <clears throat> but I also haven't seen a doctor in uh, years. Because I'm just so dang healthy. That or I don't want to know that I'm fat. Fat and out of shape and not taking proper <laughs> proper care of myself. And I'm just fouling that up. Fouling that up. There is still a little... That's just going to be an ongoing thing that I have to quit doing. Stop picking her nose, Shovel. Stop picking her nose. <sighs> Cutting down on caffeine. Yeah, I also don't want to go to a doctor and hear that. Like, I don't have too many addictions. Um, like, really, none. Uh, caffeine and sugar? Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure I have high blood pressure. It's just kind of how the, the way I run. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I have a... I gotta be somewhere at 6 o'clock. So it's a hard 5.30 today, folks. So that's uh, 15 minutes. Um, You know, Wiggles, that's a good question. I I was just going to do a face on it. I, I really only just grabbed it out of the pile before I started streaming, so I didn't really 
look too close at it. And then once I got it open and on the desk and talking about it, I realized there's a Precious Moments logo on this pocket that I don't really like. Uh, JR's got a hard 530. This guy. This guy. But it's only a minute, so after 531, it's over. It's soft. <laughs> hey oh, <laughs> That's a callback. Uh, yeah. Where, where are we at? Good God. Mother Maya, yeah. What's going on in the live, though? Yeah, yeah. What, what is going on in the live? Um, so, I love when I read the chat backwards and it just makes me look stupid. <laughs> yeah, guys, come on. Daffy's trying to, trying to jog and be healthy, not like the rest of us dummies. He's trying to do good choices. Treadmill and all. He probably, he probably had yogurt at lunch. A sensible portion of, uh, of, uh, salmon. And some raw broccoli. While I was eating my ham sandwich and potato chips that I've been eating for the last 30 years. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I don't know, Wiggles. I, I don't really... I don't know what I want to do. Because she's got this plate full of cookies, too. Um, oh, burgers and fries. Yeah. Fire station food can get you in trouble. You, uh, you fellas, you get sitting around all day and you get to thinking about what you're going to eat. And then you, uh... Oh, you jam out with some good stuff off the grill at a fire station. Uh, I don't know. What are some ideas for the uh, the cookies on this this plate here? Let me see. Yeah, see that? Got that plate of cookies. Problem is, they're kind of stacked on each other, so it's not like it would be very hard to do. Like, if I did like a hatchet man on this one, it would be hard. I could probably get one on that one, but it would be hard to get like something on. Oh, you can't even see it. Because, you know, I'd want to be consistent. I don't know. I could do that on the pocket, though. I could just, like... white out that pocket and then do a, a hatchet man there. Yeah, but if I put a severed head on there... like, proportionately to her head... Then that thing's gonna be, oops, sorry, like this, this tall. It's gonna block half of her face. I mean, I guess I could. But I also like, I, I was talking about this before. Juggalos do like cookies. Um, well, like I was saying before in the stream, though, I kind of, because other people were suggesting things that I could add to other pieces that I've made. Here, let me adjust the things. Um, and I'm not opposed to the ideas, but I also, I like the simplicity of what I do. Like, I like that when I'm done with this, you can just put it on the shelf and it kind of blends in with the other Precious moments, possibly, or, you know, it, it's kind of a sleeper. Um, as opposed to if I did a bunch of, like, crazy colors and big alterations, it kind of stands out a little bit, and it's, like, I don't know, not as, uh, not discreet, not as subtle as what I like. I kind of like them being subtle. Blurry, and Yeah, manual focus. Actually, I think that's... Where's the sweet spot here? Oh! Where's the sweet spot here? 
Oh, that's not it. I think it's right about there. I think that's that's where the focus is. Just right. Just right. A plate of weed. Hmm. Going in on Easter. Huh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's right! So Daffy bought one of my pieces. He bought the little... It's a little teddy bear that I had done a while back. And he bought it because he, he wants to put it in with his mom's stuff. And not tell her. And the thing is we're going to wait and see how long it takes her to realize it's there which is that like that's one of the reasons why i make these like I, I think that's hilarious um so yeah so we get to wait one of these days in one of these streams daffy's gonna break the news that his mom called and said what is with this bear <laughs> and it's all gonna pay off it could be it could be a week it could be months it could be years cannot wait it's gonna be so funny i need to do it to my mom too i i never think about it but she doesn't really she doesn't really have a collection of figurines so i might have to wait till christmas and sneak one into her nativity which if you do go to my shop um, speaking of, because it is almost 5.30, if you do go to my shop, there are a couple of oddball pieces of just individual Juggalo painted, um, nativity pieces. Like, there's a camel, there's a donkey, there's a wise man, and there's a Mary. And you can buy them just separately, one piece. And the whole idea is... You sneak that into somebody's nativity scene. You don't say a word about it. They just have a juggalo donkey laying down next to the manger. And you wait to see how long it takes for them to realize how that juggalo get in there. Um, so yeah, if you if you want to get in on that joke, hop in my store, my online store. You can buy one of those. Um I will probably be doing it to my mom this Christmas, and hopefully, um, hopefully I'll be around and have my phone on me so I can, if she hasn't caught it by, by, like, Christmas Day or whatever day we celebrate it on with my family, I might just have my, uh, my camera out and nudge her to see if I can get a reaction out of her. Uh, alright, my watch just said that I need to leave so I can get to my appointment. So, um, okay, so we're going to leave it at that. I didn't get it finished today, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, not a big deal. Tomorrow, I will probably be starting the bigger, larger scale, bigger, larger, larger, and bigger. That's the same word. I don't have to say it twice. Um... Replacement piece for my customer in Baltimore for the crushed cherub that she received, thanks to UPS. Uh, so tune in tomorrow for that. Uh, no, I'm actually off work tomorrow. Um, so I might start early. I don't know. Uh, either way, I plan on doing the entire stream doing that piece. Because uh, I want to get it done. Because I want to get it sent out to her. Because she... She deserves it. She's been been very kind. Um, so anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you to JR and Maya and Daffy and Wiggles uh, and all the creeps and listeners. There's been quite a few of you today. I've seen you. I've seen you. You haven't been in the chat, but you've been in the stream. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. You're always welcome to be here to hang out. Uh, I stream every Monday through Friday. 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to about 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Wiggles just dropped a link into the chat 
to a Juggalo Discord server if you are into Juggalo stuff, or you're a Juggalo, or you're curious about Juggalos. Click on that little link there in the chat. It'll take you to Discord. Um, join the server, hang out, chat with people, get to know things. Um, if if neither of them can figure out getting the link to my shop, it's fine. Uh, you can just Google Precious Juggalos. Uh, I have a square shop. Um, you'll find it. Uh, I'm also on Facebook, Instagram. Links to my shop are all over on those things. You'll find it. It's all good. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, thank you all for being here again. Whoop whoop, y'all. Um, yeah, JR is usually on the button with that. Uh, hey, Sting! Uh, Sting is one of the creeps today. Dude, love you, brother. Thank you for being here. Uh, I stream 10.30 to 11.30 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time for all of my UK viewers. Sting and his lovely wife being one or two. I guess that's two people. Um, yeah, cool. All right. I don't know. Let, let me sell a little bit more, get a little bit more of my, uh, feet under me with this as a business. My views are going up now. What the heck? I'm trying to sign off, everybody. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, this is what we worked on today. She didn't get finished. We'll finish her on another time, another day. Uh, thanks, everybody, for being here. If you just tuned in, I'm about to end the broadcast. You can go back and watch the stream. It's been a good one. It's been interesting. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for supporting me. Love y'all. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Have a great weekend if I don't see you until later. <laughs>